Adam Dempsey had sort of a gypsy soul. He was not content to stay in one place for long. Hiram was always looking for something better, a better job where he maybe he didn't have to work too hard. He had this sort of wanderlust with a family, which wasn't very fair to do, taking them in a wagon. They bounced around to basically every mining community you can think of in southern Utah and Colorado. They got kicked out of a town in Colorado and in Delta. The people in there, they took one look at the Dempseys and their rags and everything, and the father couldn't get a job, and uh, they told him, you know, we're not going to support you. You're going to have to go. He and his mother and sister were traveling by train to Denver, and his mother only had enough money for a ticket for herself and, and a half a fare for the sibling. When the conductor came through to get the tickets, she only produced the, the ticket for her and the smaller child. And the conductor looked at Jack and he says he looked him up and down and he said, I was never more aware of our poverty than I was at that moment when he was looking at my ragged shoes and ragged jeans. And he said, when I come back, boy, you better have a ticket or I'm putting you off the train. And he said he could feel the tears at the back of his eyes. Um, he was so scared. What would, what would he do if they put him off the train? A well-dressed gentleman was sitting across the aisle on the train and had taken all of this in and he told Jack, he said, don't worry about it, boy. I don't suppose he'll come back, but if he does, I'll buy your ticket. And he said he never forgot the kindness of that stranger and how much that meant to him. I think it's things like that that happened to him as a boy that kept him humble and approachable throughout his life. Uh -huh.